Good morning, children. In my last class, we have finished lesson number four explanation part. Today, I am going to give you notes in lesson number four. What is our lesson number four? Skeletal system. So, first we start with multiple choice questions. Question number one: State the number of bones in an adult human being. A. Two not six. B. Three not six. C. Two sixty. D. Hundred. Yes, very good. A is correct, children. Two not six bones. Then come for next question. What do the bones in the head form? A ribs, B skull, C backbone, D joints. Yes, B correct. Skull is correct. And you are ready with answers too, children. You can see the answers also. Fill in the blanks. Now we are in next bit. Fill in the blanks. Dash or place where two meets. What meets children here? Bones, right? Dash or place where two bones meet. That is called as joints. J O I N T S. Joints. And next question. Backbone is also called the dash. Vertebrae. V E R T E B R A E. Vertebrae. Then now come for very short. Answer questions. Question number five: What do we call the hard material inside our body? Bone. Very short. This is very short question. Answer, children. Next question: What connects the neck to the lower back of our body? Yes, backbone. Correct answer. Write down. B A C K back B O N E bone back bone read and write children. And short answer question is question number seven. Define a skeletal system. Name the important parts of skeletal system. And answer is all the bones in our body together forms the skeletal system. Read and write skull, ribs, and backbone. Are the important parts of the skeletal system. Read and write, children. Again, I am repeating this answer for you. All the bones in our body together forms the skeletal system. Skull, ribs, and backbone are the important parts of the. Skeletal system. Read and write. Now, in understanding, true or false are there. So, in true and false, the skull system, sorry, the skeletal system, gives shape and support to the body. Yes, true. It gives support as well as shape to our body. What gives support and shape to our body? Skeletal system. Now, next one, skull helps to the to stay erect. Is it true? Because of our skull, we are staying erect. No, it's false. Next one, ribs run down from the neck to the lower back of our body. No, it's false. Yes, it is false. Children, it cannot move. Ribs cannot move from its place. The next question: Bones store minerals inside them. True. Yes, it stores minerals inside them. Now you can see this picture, children. It's showing the parts of our body, like it's like a skeletal system. So. What are the organs we are protecting with the help of skull and rib cage? I explained you before. Draw in this way, children. First, you draw skeletal system, then label the important parts. What he mentioned in the diagram given below, label the parts of skeletal system that protect 
the brain and heart skull protects brain and with the help of rib cage i mean to say rib cage is protecting our heart read and write question and answers children and whenever you start writing read and write maintain your handwriting whatever you are reading read carefully so that it comes under good pronunciation too